Welcome, welcome everybody to a brand new series on the channel. This is March to Orbit. You can see I'm in RP1. This is the Express install. We're going to start a game straight away. So we've got the uh, difficulty on hard, but I'm going to make one change. We're going to change it so that we are playing on X claim plane contracts not enabled. So we're going to do accept that. And um, I'm going to start this and then we'll talk a bit more about uh, what the series actually involves. So here we are. Let's get going. Let's click through some of these things. Uh, what do I want to do? I want to uh, uh, unclick. Yes, accept that. Uh, get rid of all this stuff. Yes, I understand that. Yes, I've got that right. So the series is going to be a bit like um, Express to Orbit. It's going to be a bit like Hard and Uncut. Um, it's going to be a speedish run, but um, let me just put some points in the VAB there. But the big difference is going to be that um, my aim is not, thank you very much, my aim is not to see how sort of quickly on the calendar I can actually get into orbit, but it's actually just to see how quickly in real time I can do it while I'm trying to push myself. Episodes will be recorded in 20 minutes, but I'm going to edit out any sort of pause screens in between. So the episodes will be at maximum 20 minutes and hopefully at least 15 minutes long. So they're okay. Right. We've got first launch, first rocket. Okay. That's easy. We'll do that. Right. So we've got to get going with this reasonably quickly. Um, we're going to launch from the Cape. I will tell you now when we're when we're doing our rocket launch. I'll tell you about the install, but um, it's going to be a pretty pretty hopefully break breakneck sort of pace, and we're going to see how we can go. the The aim is because it's March to orbit. I'm setting myself the deadline of thank you very much. I'm setting myself the deadline of I want to be in orbit by the end of March. So 30 31 episodes. I think that gives me. Uh, we'll call this the I don't know the Alpha One A. There we go. That's a great name for a craft, isn't it? Right. Um, so first thing we've got to do is build that that first rocket. So we're going to go with science core. We're going to go switch to pretty much basic. I'm going to turn that to 75. I think I'm going to apply that. Um, I'm going to do the thing that I normally do, um, I think, which is and I don't know other people that do this. It might not be the most effective way of doing it. I don't know. I seriously don't know. But I'm going to go for. Um, yeah, we don't, I don't I don't need extra mass there. I want 50, no, 75, 75, I've got 75. I think 75 is probably okay. Apply that. There we go. Nice little core there. Wonderful. There's the start of our rocket. Um, so that's my, my avionics done. I'm going to turn the antenna off because uh, I'm going to do something that I do and other people don't, which is my first rocket. I want to come back. So we'll, uh, we'll design it with that in mind. Yes, that looks a bit silly on there, but we'll get back to that in a minute. We need a conventional structure. Thank you very much. We're going to go diameter. We're going to go for a standard, standard, simple little, little launch there. We're going to need high pressure, I believe, on this one, are we? Yes, we are, because we're going to use, I haven't used one of these for ages, an Araby engine. How exciting. Can we get fuel in there? Yes, we can. Now, how long can this engine go for? Where does it tell me anything here? I do not believe I have it set up to do that, so I'm going to have to click on here and have a look. Uh, 47 seconds, 47 seconds of fuel. Okay, so we're going to just increase this until we get to about 47. That's not 47. Let's take it. Okay, we can go over. Let's go 50. Let's go. Let's go 50. Uh, 49. 49 is fine. Okay. Right. Uh, yes, this this parachute will be changed. Don't worry about that. Right. Next thing, I want to put a tank on the top. Um, now I seem to remember that service modules are actually lighter, but I don't really, I don't really care. What I actually want is um, I want to be able to put ballast in it if this thing is not aerodynamically stable. So we'll do that. Um, I want this to be a smooth cone. And we want to go, yeah, I will I will talk a bit about the series once we actually get this launched, but getting these things built is going to be, I think, one of the challenges. So I don't know whether I should allow myself to have people send things in. Um, that's a nice shape, actually. Yeah, we'll, we'll have that. That's a good shape. Right. Um, and then I need fins. Fins. I also was thinking, um, because I'm doing a speed run, do I bother colouring things in? I mean, we need some, some fins. There we go. Uh, start with one of them. Does it have to uh, press J to do that? Oh, it doesn't have that on. Good. Um, I am playing in the. Um, oh, do that. I am playing in the um, the Express install. So if you want to play along, just the Express install and this install. I am freezing as of um, what was it? The twenty fourth of May. Uh, sorry, twenty fourth of March or something like that. Although I do believe that the second that I finished putting this together, as is always the case. The, um, the the devs put out another dev version, so I don't know. But um, yeah, we're also playing in 1.12, so there's likely to be some glitches to do with that. So that will be fun for you all to see. Right, tip, we're going to make uh, 50. We're going to make 
this bit uh, 100. I've never done that before. There we go. Um, let's see. We want trailing edge. I want it to be just no, no trailing edge. I don't need a trailing edge. In fact, I want it blunt. That bit's okay. In fact, I want it biconcave on the top. I'm going to offset uh, a little bit like so. In fact, you know what? I'm going to make it stick out a bit and I'm going to make the root a bit bigger. There we go. In fact, I think I quite like that. Yeah, I like that. And then we'll offset the tip um, quite quite viciously. There we go. That's that's a horrendously offset tip, isn't it? Right. Let's let's try this now. Normally, I would use three. Uh, sorry, four fins. But let's let's try this with three. See how this looks. Uh, that looks absolutely horrible. Actually, you know what? I can't I can't bring myself to do that offset that extreme. I know it's probably. The way that KSP works with this uh, these setups, it's probably better, but I cannot bring myself to do it. I'm sorry, I just can't. And I've got to have my fins above my engine just because of the way that I feel. There we go. There we go. There. That's that's more like a classic rocket. Um, while we're here, let's let's fix this. Let's get this sorted. So uh, this needs to be a uh, previous size all the way down. Thank you. All the way to there. Yep. We're gonna go to Earth. Um, want a main. We do it with me and we want single. Uh, that's that, that's that, that. Right. So first one I want you to fully deploy at um let's call you a 500. And then the second one, where's your deployment? I want you to go at about uh 750. They're both gonna start deploying at five. I've got two parachutes. Um two parachutes, and we want to go uh switch back switch to dry apply okay and then i also want to put this on action group five for for arming it basically so arm shoot that's what i always need to do right we are oh about seven minutes in and i have a craft that i think might be a good candidate for launching let's have a look so we've got our center of lift is back here center of mass is not showing thank you very much what happens when i drain the tanks that should move forward it does that's wonderful perfect superb right get those turned off now do i color it i think we do i think we will open uh, we want some horrible colors probably a uh, bit of that uh, this uh open recolor yeah we'll do we'll do you in in like orange there we go there we go it's orange oh that's that's clipped through uh we need to be aware of that right so then this we need uh, this is one of the reasons why it's a good idea to color these things uh the nose we're going to paint in black and then these fins um let's have a look can i do on here yes oh you can oh it's wonderful uh surface we're gonna go black white white and white there we go perfect that's the most hideous craft ever right put that onto there that might help us a little bit now we need a launch pad of some sort here we go where are we i need a small one where's the I don't want medium, I want small, there we are, small one. There we go. And then we're gonna take the whole thing. And I could cheat and do it launching way re up high and it'll be wonderful and everything. Um, sequencing looks all right. Normally this engine used to have to spool up, but it should be okay. So we're gonna save this. We're gonna to tool it, because uh, I can tool all. Purchase the tooling, because you might as well. First time you tool any tank, it's, it's expensive. Uh, close that. And then I think we are ready to go with this launch. Uh, yes, I will have those things. And that's now being built, right. So let's have a look. We've got this vessel being built. We can warp towards it. Um, yeah, this hopefully warping is not going to be something that takes up a lot of time in this uh, playthrough. But you can see we're at the Cape. We've got some of the uh, visual mods on because we're playing on the Express install. We've got it on the, I think, the high graphics setting. All right, let's launch this thing. I think, is it is it dawn or dusk? I think it's dusk. All right, it is dusk and we are on the 10 minute mark of this and we're just getting this, the sun there. Now, oh, did I turn off the antenna? um i think i did i think i turned the antenna off i think i disabled the antenna so we've got parachute ready everything looks good let's hope this works and fire the craft there we go right so yeah we've got no control because we've got a science call um i don't even know if we've got we could just we could just run that it's not going to get it i don't think it's going to get over four, 40 kilometers it might it might what a lovely view this is though so this series, we're playing on an express install and the idea is um, by the first of, that's an interesting one. What is this? Hello? Is that pointing somewhere? That's new. I must have a look. That might be something I've enabled or disabled by accident. I don't know if somebody sees that. 
Again, this might be something that turns up in all of our launches. I don't know. It might just be the first launch. Um, so, yeah, so we're, we're basically we've got 31 days to get into orbit. And that, I don't know whether that means with people or with just a craft or with just a, a satellite or something like that. I haven't decided. We'll see how it goes. Right, there we go. The engine has cut out. I wonder why, though. Did we did we run out of anything? Has something happened? Uh, no, it says it's okay. So it's just a fuel thing. It says there's about 34 meters per second of delta V in the tank still. So obviously we know that's uh, that's a thing. Right, we can arm our parachutes. Now, I allow myself to do that even though we don't have an antenna because I always think they'll be on a timer. This white stick, anybody know what that is from? That would be really good to know about. Um, that's very odd. I wonder if I've got something enabled. I need to need to click something maybe. Uh, we're getting a load of contracts. Oh, we're actually above where I thought we would be. Okay, that's interesting. So we are getting science on this. So if we had a transmitter on this, we'd be now transmitting science. If we'd have put thermometer and pressure sensor and stuff like that on there, we'd be transmitting science as well. We'd be, we'd be rocking, rocking the science quite he heavily with that. Now, the interesting thing will be what happens with this going back down? I think because of its altitude, it should be okay. It should be okay. We gathered it. Yeah, we're past that. So we got a little tiny taste of the science. Where are we pointing that? Where is that pointing at? Um, oh, actually, you know what? Do that. Slow down. Let, let, the, let the air. Oh, there we go. The parachutes opening at, at Mach, Mach 1.2 or something. I think we were doing there. These are some strong parachutes opening at that speed. So they're going to they're gonna slow us down nicely. That's, yeah, what is that? It's like, it's like a stick on the side. I'm going to have to look at that in between episodes and just see what that is. A white line. Um, I may even take a little picture and uh and ask for some advice um there we go right we're going to come down are we going into the water oh the line has uh, that's interesting it's sort of going upwards it reminds me of the old launch clamp bug that there used to be that's very interesting right let's speed this down because you don't need to kill too much time doing this right there we go all right so we're going to hit the water very nice water this is much nicer than stock isn't it um, and then we're going to recover this and then see what our next mission will be. It'd be good to see actually how far up we got. So there we go, all the way down. And thank you very much. Recover the vessel and we can do that normal recovery before it falls over and destroys itself. All right, we've got five science gain from that. We've got a bit of funding. We've got some, some science from that as well, did we? Yeah, not point eight. So we can spend some of that. Let's see what we're going to spend it on. Well, Let's get some better engines, a bit more better engines. Uh, give me some better tanks and give me some better avionics. And that should be all of it spent. Got a little bit left over. Wonderful. Next mission, please. Carmen line. Oh, that gives me a nice chunk of funds, doesn't it? So I've got to get above 100. I think that craft might be able to do it, but we'll have a look. And then we've got this one as well. So next one. Next one we're going to do for this, this is Carmen line. Um, we're not going to be getting much in the way of Essentially, science. We're just trying to grab. We, we've got that science research going. We can get science in the future. We're not in a hurry for science right now. Unless we get to the the twenty points of science mark, it's not really going to be an issue for us. In fact, you know, uh, we'll keep that up there. So what we're going to do? We're going to take this. We're going to take that off. Do that, and then um, yeah, let's pull this up. I've got five minutes to do this. So pull that to there. Right. Let's uh, let's go. See if we get two launches in in this first episode. Is what I'm aiming for. As I said, what will actually be happening is I will be um, I'll be I'll be recording for 20 minutes. I have a 20 minute timer. You will hear it at the end if you're not used to it. It's what we do in hard and uncut. Um, after that, we can color this. Ooh, how exciting! I know I'm in a hurry, but there's always you know the chance of coloring. Can I color it? Can I color? It? Oh, I do that, don't I? Yeah, the chance of coloring something is you know it's always got to accept that, haven't you? Oh, let's do that in orange. Yeah, that's good. And then that color in black because it's dangerous. There we go. Right. You've always got to have, the, you've got to always do some of that if you, if you can. Right, so that's going to go to there, that's going to go to there. I could pull that up a bit, but um, do I want to? Yeah, let's make it look just a little bit. It probably will catch, knowing my look. It'll catch on decoupling, but we'll just do that. There you go, that's that's lovely. That's wonderful. Right, so this time we're going to have that fire, that fire. This engine's going to fire at the same time as that. Um, that's going to fire at the same time as that. Then we're going to have that decoupler. And this thing is just going to go up. So this is the A alpha one B. We'll call it the B. There we go. Save that. Um, and I think we're done with that. Do I need to tool anything? We don't need to tool anything. Does that not need tooled? So these little, these things don't need tool. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. 
I never realised that. I thought you had to tool uh, things like that. Uh, what I might do is... I've got quite a bit of Delta V there. I think that will make it. There's no point putting science on if I'm not going to put a transmitter. We can always get that later. Right. Uh, let's launch this thing, I think. Yeah, let's launch it uh, by those two parts. And um, let's go. Now, as I said, we're not in a race on, on, on date. We're actually in a race on time. So we're going to do this as quickly as possible. I don't need any upgrades. We're going to warp that as quickly as possible, please. Thank you very much. It would be nice if you could go quicker than that. So there's going to be 60 days. So I'm going to be, it's going to be interesting how I spend my upgrade points, actually, because I technically don't need to, but it's just going to save us time on our time warpy button there. Right, there we go. So it may be better getting fewer launches. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, recover that, yes. Oh, I forgot, as we've done this, to actually put it lower down. So it's a little cheaty, but I'm going to, I'm going to let myself off. Right, are we ready? I think so. I've got two and a half minutes to do this. There we go. There we go. A nice little push at the start there. Gives us a bit of thrust. Now, hopefully that won't damage anything as it falls down. Don't think it is. It's only a tiny thing. Uh, we need to get moving because I have two minutes to get this rocket to do so. That line's back. The line's back. All right. I'm definitely going to in between episodes. And I should... I could... I could just stop the recording, actually. I could stop the recording. Oh, it's gone. The line's... No, it's gone. It's back again. I could just stop the recording and we could... Um... Oh, thank you very much. Is that engine done? Where are we going? How high are we going? What are we going to? Oh, it is close, 109. Do I need to go? I need to go 100, don't I? I think it's 100 I need to hit. Right, okay. So once this gets over 100, we can basically destroy it, I think. I think that's what we're gonna be able to do. It's annoying that I have to physical, physically warp it up to there. Uh, so 108, and I think the mission was, let's have a check. Where's my mission, where's my mission? I think it's 100, Carmen line, I believe is 100. It should be 100. It is 100. We've done everything else. Oh, we got, uh, there's a speed record there I would quite like. We've done the sounding rocket one. We've got another altitude one. We're over 100. We've done all of those records. That's wonderful. 18, 18 uh, flights in, in sort of accounting right now. Do I have range safety on this? I don't. Oh, no, I do. I do have range safety. So let's let's let it fly back down. And if I need to, I can range safety at the last minute. Um, but let's have a look at the contracts while it's doing this. So we have done the first node. We have built vessel. It's, thank you. That's a yeah. No, thank you, thank you, right. So we've done speed, speed, 10 kilometers, 900 meters, 20 kilometers, 30 kilometers, 40 kilometers, 50 kilometers, built another rocket, 1,200, 60 kilometers, sounding rocket low, 80 kilometers, 100 kilometers, Kalman line finished, wonderful, perfect. That line is starting to annoy me um, quite a lot. Why is, where's it pointing to? Is it always, is it just pointing to like a direction? Because we're currently pointing slightly off. Where's north? Is it pointing north or something like that? I'm going to have to look. It's probably that I've got something turned on or there's a glitch somewhere that I need to look at. This is probably, this will most likely, it's going to explode. So, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to range safety just now. There we go. Range safety. Superb. Let's get back to the main screen. All right. So we're back on the main screen. I've got 10 seconds left to say please. Um, if you like it, like it. If you really like it, subscribe. It's going to be daily. It would be great to get your feedback. So comment down below and tell me what to do. So from me, have a great one.